Why do we hire you? Sample answer, because I am a hardworking person and I believe that I am the most qualified applicant for the job. I have general knowledge and experience of different types of cars and trucks, and I am all around mechanic that can do under chassis, brakes, transmission, air conditioning, engine diagnostic and repairs, fuel and electrical system, and aside from that, I am familiar with imported cars like BMW and Mercedes-Benz. Also, I have experience using diagnostic computer equipment. Can you tell me something about your previous or something about your experience? Sample answer. I have spent five years as a mechanic at ABC Automotive Shop, for example, and I developed extensive skill working as a technician mechanic. I perform engine repair, brakes, front end steering and suspension, well balancing, air conditioning, minor electrical system, and I am familiar with computerized automotive diagnostic equipment. Why are you interested in this job? Sample answer. I am interested in this job because I am looking for an opportunity that let me exercise my skill. I feel this position will allow me to succeed because my experience is related to the job. Why are you leaving your current or previous job? Sample answer number one. My current job has been a great experience, but the growth is limited because the company is relatively small. I need to look somewhere like this company where there is opportunity to grow my career. Sample answer number two. I'm ready for the next challenge in my career. I love the people I work with and the projects that I work on, but at some point I'm looking for a company where opportunity to grow my career. Have you ever had conflict with your superior or colleagues and how do you handle it? Sample answer. I think everyone at some point had a conflict with their superior or colleagues. I'll just try to work with them whenever possible and stay away with conflict as much as I could. What is your strength and weakness? Sample answer for what is your strength? I am a hardworking and responsible person and do my duties on time. Sample answer for what is your weakness? I do not stop working until the job is done. I should know my limitation. Do you have any question for us? Sample answer. Always say yes if these questions will be asked. Sample answers. What are the most immediate projects that need to be addressed? Technical question. How often does a car require a service? Answer, car require major maintenance every 5,000 hours or refer to your service manual for detailed maintenance procedure. Before buying a used car, what are the things that you are going to look for? Sample answer, when you are going to open the hood, check for any burning smell. Check for normal smoke and any leakage underneath the car. Open the radiator cap and check for oil sludge. Check the tires, steering wheels, and any leaking for coolant in the radiator, etc. What causes the engine to overheat? Sample answer. It could be an operative cooling fan, thermostat, diaphragm stop, antifreeze need to change, restricted airflow, bad fan clats, a sleeping fan belt, radiator hose damage, filter need to change for restricted airflow, and the coolant is leaking. What is the correct voltage of voltmeter for a battery? Sample answer, 13 volts to 14.5 volts. Reading for voltmeter is normal, but below 13 volts, there is a problem with a battery. How you are going to check whether the problem is from battery or alternator? 
sample answer. 13 volts or 14.5 volts is normal, but below 13 volts, there is a problem with a battery. Another way to check alternator is by checking the interior lights. Usually, an alternator charges your car battery when the car is on. If the interior lights come on brightly and fades away slowly, it indicates that the alternator cannot keep a charge when the car is running. It means there is a problem with the alternator. What are the components of car charging system? Sample answer. The alternator, battery, and voltage regulator. Explain the difference between crankshaft and camshaft. Sample answer. Crankshaft is a shaft which gives an output from the engine. It is used to drive the piston from bottom dead center or BDC to top dead center or TDC, up and down to create combustion process in the engine chamber, while the camshaft is designed to synchronize the rotation of crankshaft to provide power. Car manufacturers design engine with two different configuration, single overhead camshaft or dual overhead camshaft. Most if not all vehicles today use either. Explain how you keep a car in good condition. Sample answer. Check the fluid level of the car like brake, steering, colon, engine and transmission, washer, etc. Check the battery, tires, brake system, belts, radiator hose, and lighting system like brake, stop, signal, and headlight. What are the components of engine lubrication system? Sample answer. The components are oil pump, oil filter, sump pan or oil pan, pressure relief valve, and spark holes for engine and crankshaft lubrication. How do you prioritize cleans and repair on a busy days? Sample answer. When the repair shop is very busy, I make sure that I serve customers in a first come and first serve basis. This helps my clients feel that their time is valued and that my process for selecting which car to work on is fair. What do you mean by CC when mentioning car efficiency? Sample answer. The term CC represents the unit cubic centimeters or volume. In engines, it is used to represent the volume of internal combustion engine of cylinders. The CC can also be represented in liters as shown below. 1000 CC or cubic centimeters is equals to 1000 cubic centimeter. This is also equals to 1 liter. How petrol engine differ from diesel engine? Sample answer. The main difference between diesel and petrol engines is that petrol engine uses spark plug to ignite the air fuel mixture while diesel engine rely on compressed air. Rodolf Diesel, a mechanical engineer who invented diesel engine, found that the temperature of air could be made to increase high enough if it was heavily compressed. The temperature would rise so high to the point that where it could cause the ignition. Additional interview question for your reference. How often should I change oil my car? How would you handle a complaining customer? Do you have a complete tool set? Is there anything that was not covered on your resume? Additional interview question for your reference. How often should I change oil my car? How would you approach a complaining customer? Do you have any complete tool set? Is there anything that was not covered on your resume? Do you have any experience working in the field? 
How do you feel about borrowing tools with others? If you get hired when you are available to start. What are your salary expectations? Imagine I am a hard claims who knows nothing about cars. How do you work with me? How often do we need to change oil our car? Do you think that we need to rotate the tire of the car every change oil? When is the right time that I'm going to do a car tune-up?